I started photographing celebrities in 1983. Very fortuitously for me, the uh, showbiz rebirth had started. And um, I'd made the right choice. I crossed over, started photographing celebs generally, and then slowly, slowly moved with my contacts with the Standard, the Express, with all the other papers that I work for, the crossover into established showbiz photography, the big events, um, happened quite naturally. Historically, probably for me, the most famous one was my picture of Liz Hurley at four weddings and a funeral. Of course, Liz Hurley went to Versace and got the most drop-dead sexy dress you could get and arrived and totally, totally uh, flummoxed everybody, really did. And that picture's been published forevermore. And every time they talk about it, even now, up comes this picture again. So, you know, yeah, yeah. So that's been one of my best pictures. One of my favorite pictures a long time ago was Princess Diana with uh, Liza Minnelli. It's for a movie called Stepping Out. And we were given 10 seconds of it. And I came into the room, she was sitting at a table, and as I got there, Liza said something to her. And they're whispering in each other's ears and giggling. It's literally seven seconds picture, but it's just one of, the, you know, one of my favorite pictures, you know. A lot of people will say, well, uh, you've just become a PR photographer, which is sort of half true. I, I, I put my hand up. We have, because, but because we want to be on the inside. I would prefer to be that and be on a plane going to Cape Town to photograph Nelson Mandela and be in his house and get some of these pictures, historic pictures of him, because I'm trusted and because, you know, I've, all right, I've, I've accepted that that decision, you know, I've made that decision. And so, Models like Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell, they can trust me. So if they're posing for a picture but there's something wrong in their dress, I'll tell them and we'll correct it probably. I don't need that cheap shot. You know, I'm happy with the great pictures I'm taking of them when they're really looking at me and they, you know, and they see, here's Dave, oh, let's give him a, a great shot. Now, why would I compromise that for a cheap shot? Even the biggest guys like Tom Cruise, all those guys, they actually have a relationship with us. They, you know, sort of, they, they must realize, right, we're in London now, okay, where are the boys? Oh yeah, there they are, you know? And it's the same, you know, even, even when you're abroad, you'll still go, oh, hi, how are you? Because they'll see, you know, they've seen you, you know? And there is that relationship. I'm probably one of the most published photographers in London, you know, in, on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. And a lot of the PRs have sort of spotted that, and because of that, they want you there. But if you don't, if I'm there just editorially, well, I could be in your party for two minutes and then say, you know what, this party isn't really happening for me. I'll move on. And of course, that's the last thing they want to happen. So what actually has happened in the last, I'd say five years or so, is that a lot of the girls are actually saying, would you be the house photographer, Dave? And then it becomes a paid assignment. It keeps you there. So they get, it's a, it's a win-win thing here because, you know, obviously, they get great pictures, hopefully, but also it means that pictures go under the brand name, Dave Bennett, and that has a, a success rate, you know, which is higher than normal. So, you know, that, that's become part of my business now. When I joined Getty, I'm, I'm a contributor. It was one was to have a, an, an agency that's serious about photography, which is probably the main reason for it. You know, they not only obviously are a business, but they actually, you know, a lot of people within Getty appreciate good photography. And I think to their, probably to their own financial detriment, I think, you know, they're, they're, they're fighting that cause of good photography against the mediocre photography that's, that, that's becoming the, the genre. You know, obviously with iPhones and whatever else, and you know. So it's quite a brave step that they've taken, in my opinion, to, 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 to carry on for the highest level of photography that they can in quality and integrity. Mm -hmm.